back up to the property. Uh, heading into a licking vine that I got a cell camera on. I've already been in there, but I'm bringing this. I'm going to show you what's going on and why. If you notice, yeah, I'm out of breath. I'm old. <laughs> but anyways, I'm coming in here to check on the camera, cell camera, and I've been noticing that my pictures have just dropped off. And I'm like, ah, maybe I got a, a doe family with a couple fawns that are uh, just keeping all the rest of the deer out. But as you can see, this is usually a good area for does at least. I mean, you might not get the bucks in here in the summertime, but at this time of year, usually you have a pretty good morning, evening pass through of does in front of this camera. Well, so I'm trimming this trail. Battery powered hedge trimmers do a great job of keeping this open. Sure is a lot easier than using a machete. So I'm coming through and I'm like, everything looks good, but there's just no tracks on the trail. Usually, you know, we've had rain, so there should be some tracks in the mud, but there's nothing. Well, I get to my watering hole, and there's my flicking vine. And there's my stand. And there's the water hole. There's my camera, which is off now. I shut it off. It's on that tree. This is just a good spot. They just pass through this pinch point. There's a little micro pot with some clover in it. Well, first of all, this fell. What happened here? <laughs> it just, I'm gonna cut that. But the main culprit here, this is the trail that comes in front of the stand and it's uh, about right there is the marsh. So this is a pinch point. to the micro plot and then that one goes to the licking vine in the camera I'm coming down here and this is what I noticed the damn beavers blocked off both trails there's my stand right there there's a trail right there and it wise right here and I've already trimmed some of it and I got I just could it needs a chainsaw but as you can see the beavers blocked off both of these trails and that's what's going on oops sorry about that but I just wanted to point out you always have to check your stuff. I mean, if you got a great system of trails and stuff coming from bedding area to food plot to, you know, through pinch points and stuff, if Mother Nature, meaning the beaver, decides to throw a monkey wrench in that, you're gonna the, the deer will find another way. And I'm guess I haven't done it yet, but there's a lot of tracks in the micro pot, and I'm gonna guess that they um, aren't going on the other side of this. Because I have this all blocked off so that they won't go in front of my stand or at least keep them 20 yards out. So anyways, I just wanted to point that out. I got some work ahead of me, but you got to keep an eye on these or Mother Nature will definitely throw a monkey wrench into it. Anyways, go beavers. <laughs>